What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're gonna talk sort of ish about a not actually fountain pen. <laughs> so you may have already checked out my full review of this pen. This is the um, Pen BBS 469 I think. Uh, Double-ended fountain pen. So on the one side here is the fountain pen. On the other side is another fountain. What? That's not a fountain pen. No, it's not. <laughs> so if you'd watched my full review of this, uh, then you would know um, that they give you a rollerball attachment so that you can take out one of the fountain pen ends and put the rollerball there. So that way you could have both uh, inside of a single pen body. Um, so I said I would do a separate video of this. Um, and I am staying true to my word. So um, I've done a quick little video that showed you how I set this up, um, but I haven't actually talked about what I think about it. Um, so the setup is super, super simple. If you've ever like taken apart a pen to clean it, if you've ever eyedroppered anything before, then you know exactly what you're doing already. Um, but if you haven't, do check out that other video um, and show you. It takes all of two minutes. Um, I've had this inked up now for a little over two weeks, I think, uh, almost pushing three. And it, what I did in that video is working. There's zero leaks. There's no problem whatsoever. Um, so happy to report that. Um, it's a little bit of a different video in the sense that my thoughts about the pen that I said in the last one remain the same. I still think that it looks dope. I love the little hourglass design in the middle. Um, I really like the feel of the pen, uh, the weight of it. It's pretty long, um, which is awesome, but fits very comfortably. Uh, the grip section, everything is the exact same that you would use for the fountain pen. Um, it's literally just the insert. So I think really the best way to, to show you that is to just actually start writing with it. Um, but my basic thoughts are is that it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's, you know, smooth enough. It's a little bit on the dry side. Um, not really scratchy. I mean, it's a rollerball, so I wouldn't expect it to be. Um, it's adequate, but there's nothing that like makes me jump out of my skin for it. Um, I do appreciate the fact that it can take fountain pen ink, um, which I have Lamy Tourmaline in here. Um, but let me flip the camera around and uh, actually show you how it writes. So as you can tell, I actually already wrote a little bit about what I thought. Um, basically the same things I've already said. So it's the addition. It's my cat. <laughs> it's smooth. You feel a little bit of a drag. Drier ink flow, but not any skips or hard starts really. It's adequate, um, but you know, nothing nothing special. I mean, it is, it is a rollerball after all. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm glad that I've had this inked up for about a week and a half and no leaks or anything. Um, like most fountain pens, actually, when you very first start writing it, it's a little bit darker, uh, because the course that ink has pooled, um, but it's not, it's not anything to like write home about. I wouldn't tell people, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you have to absolutely get this. This is amazing. This is the best rollerball you'll ever use. Um, is it nice to have? Sure, because then, you know, if you can only take one pen around, you have the fountain pen end, um, and you could have the rollerball. Um, one thing that would be cool with this is you could put an ink in here um, that would be, you know, like X feather or something um, that you could use on like really bad paper, um, since this is a little bit drier um, than anything else. Um, so, it definitely has its practicalities, um, but I mean, eh, that's, that's my main feel about it. Just, eh. But, you know, do I recommend the pen? Yes, because I love the actual fountain pen portion. Um, it feels really, really good. The rollerball is just a nice addition, um, and it, it's nice to have, I suppose. Um, but guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go play with my cat now. And uh, as always, I will see you next time. Bye.